Okay, well, my plan is today, guys, to prune a couple of these pear trees. That one and, and that one. Okay, well, what I wanted to do is get these guys pruned back. Uh, when we bought this farm, these trees were already here. Somebody had already planted them. And the first couple of years we lived here, we didn't get a single uh, piece of fruit, not a single pear. So I came in and pruned the whole thing, what I could reach with a pole saw. And uh, the next year it produced like crazy. So I'm, I'm a strong believer in pruning your, your fruit trees and, and stuff like that in the wintertime. Uh, but then I hadn't pruned it for the next couple of years and it's slowly getting to where it's not putting on any fruit. It just put on a little bit last year. Uh, so we want to get to pruning this thing and I'm going to really prune this thing way, way back and I'll tell you why. Well, let me get up close and show you guys what happens when you don't prune a tree. They just go wild, they go crazy, uh, and then they get to where they're not productive at all as far as bringing out your fruit. Um, I'll show you, this should have been one nice straight trunk and it should have bush, bushed out into type, like sort of like a wine glass. It should have been kind of pruned uh, to that wine glass type look. And, <laughs> and this one's definitely not. As you can see, the trunk comes up and right here they should have started taking off some limbs but they didn't and it just goes straight up and then it just turns into a big tangled mess and right here with my ladder is you can see where it's growing all together right there and just getting in a big jungle jungled bunch and another thing is when they get that tall that is way up there uh, i would say i would have to say that's 30 foot it just goes straight up and it just keeps climbing and climbing. What we want it to do is branch out. So I'm about to climb up as this ladder and I'm just gonna take that whole top out of that tree. I'm gonna take the whole top out and let it where it start growing out. And if it doesn't do well, <laughs> I don't care as we don't hardly eat pears anyway, but I do like having them. <laughs> pears are probably my least favorite fruit, but uh, I do like having them. It's nice to uh, have them. My grandkids love them, so they eat them. And uh, some other friends come by and they'll pick them uh, when we do have them. So we're going to get up here. I thought I would video it for you guys. So if I fail, y'all would get a good laugh out of it. I don't think I'm going to fall. I've already tested the ladder and all that. But uh, hopefully when these limbs don't fall back on me, it just looks like it needs to be done. It just needs to be done. Well, that's what I've been wanting to do right there. I know it's hard to tell on camera, really, really hard, but that will help this thing grow out. It'll start growing out at a 45. There's still shoots on top that'll push growth up and uh, it'll leap out, get some air inside there, get some more sunlight inside there. Hopefully it'll make this tree uh, be a whole lot better producer because it, the last couple of years it hadn't produced, but just a handful. The time I pruned, I've only pruned it once. The time I pruned it, it took off. We had pears. I mean, it was covered in pears. So I'm hoping topping this thing out will stop some of that growth up and push it out. Sort of the same concept I use with my muscadines. I keep it from being so bushy so it'll grow down the wire when they're young. That's sort of my, my thought process. So hope that works. We got one more to do. Now this one is a little, it's in a little better shape. Uh, it's got a little mistletoe growing on it. <laughs> I like to pull all that off. I pull that mistletoe off if I see any. But it looks like it's turned out pretty good. Uh, it Right here it starts branching out. But I would like to top it up in here somewhere because it just keeps going and going and going. But it just goes way, way up. And so I just want to sort of... I think I'm going to leave all that growth in there. I just want to take that main stump and just sort of go up a little bit and just take that main, uh, that top part out. That way it'll keep that growth going out and at about a 45 degree angle. That'll, I think that'll be a lot better. And for another thing is we can't reach whatever grows up there. 
So hopefully that'll stop some of that. We make it a little easier to grab our fruit when they start producing. I don't know if y'all can hear that or not. <laughs> I got some owls stirred up. They're back here going crazy. Well, that, time, that, that, that turned out just what, uh, just like I was hoping it would. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys think Shane and limbs could kick back on you and hit you and knock you off ladder. Shane, you could fall off ladder. Shane, you could cut yourself with a chainsaw. Shane, you could this, you could that. Hey, life is a gamble. <laughs> We're always gambling. I just go out here, do what I got to do, and hope for the best. Most of the time, it turns out okay. I've been really lucky in life. <laughs> that turned out fantastic. I heard that tree pop, and it sent a little chill through my body, but the thing fell just like I wanted. I noticed all the weight was leaning that way, so that's why I cut it to where it would fall that way. The first time, <laughs> I didn't think about looking to see where the weight was, and I got my saw hung up. I had to go get a screwdriver and a hammer and wedge it out. So other than that, that worked out good. Them things are heavy. I'm gonna get the tractor, hook a chain to them, drag them around to the fire pit so when they dry, uh, they'll be sitting there ready to burn. While I got the chainsaw out, I got some uh, another tree that fell. I'm gonna go cut that up super, super quick. And then we wanna clean up some stuff up here in the muscadines that uh, the previous homeowners left years ago that I should have already cleaned up but didn't. So stick around. <laughs> All right, we got that little tree cut up. That didn't take me a second. Head over here <laughs> to this corner part of the vineyard and show you this mess that I've been dodging for six years <laughs> and got lazy. All right, boy, well, since we got Uncle Jesse, <laughs> they have turned this place into a sure enough pig pen. It is muddy. And they are sinking in that mud. That Jesse has dug and dug and dug. They've been having themselves a ball. Well, I need to start cleaning this little area up right here. We're right next to the vineyard. Uh, but I need to clean this area up right here for the fact we'll be building our pen pretty soon. And it's going to come right down through here and follow right up that road right there. It's going to go straight up that road. And back across through the woods, back down and catch the corner of the pen down there. It's gonna come this side of that pear tree there, run right, right here, even with the muscadines, right down through here, here, up, and across. I wanna keep this road for the fact I got grandkids. Mason's getting older. Uh, he may want a motorcycle here pretty soon or a four-wheeler. <laughs> and this would be a great road for him to go up. It goes around my property and all. It just goes all the way around the woods. And it'll give him and Emma and the rest of them, as they grow up, a great place to come ride if they get motorcycles and stuff like that. But here's the junk I need to clean up. Right here is an old tree stand that when we bought the place was standing right here. And he was hunting this whole pasture because there used to be a huge persimmon tree right there. Huge persimmon tree that would drop tons and tons of persimmons and he was apparently hunting the deer coming out of these woods Because that's what we did when we moved in here Except we hunted over there and we'd shoot across the pasture and we would Taking down a lot of deer right out there in the middle of that field, but I wanted the muscadines So we cut all that down built the muscadines now. It's time to clean up this This has got to go um, I think I'm just gonna take and burn this a lot of people say yeah, you can recycle it and all that, but it's really, really bad shape. It's really bad shape. It's uh, rotten and 
like crazy. And then there's tires, a lot of tractor tires and car tires and all sorts of stuff over here. Nice. I might recycle that bucket. What do you think, buddy? <laughs> Look right there. Armadillo hole. Hate them. But that's my plan. I need to go get the tractor. We're going to start hauling some of these tires out here. Put them behind the shed because Meriwether County, uh, they'll have a cleanup day once a quarter or something like that. And they'll have trash, big bins and stuff put out at the fire departments and stuff like that for you to come and clean up your farms and things you want to discard. You can take and discard. So we'll take these tires, all these tires. This wood will just burn. Let's go get the tractor. out that looks a lot better like I say we're gonna end up putting a post right down there running it right down through here up through the woods parallel with the road here and it's just gonna just gonna be really really nice a real nice pen for the pigs they'll clean all that out they will wipe all that anything they can reach they're gonna eat and they'll clean all that out It'll be a nice secondary pen uh, and if we start wanting to get any bigger, we can add, we can shut down the road and move over to the property line, which is inside the woods right over there. And so we can add another pin right up through here, which I doubt we'll do. I doubt we'll do. I think we're going to try to keep it down. I want to try to keep it to where I just have five pigs. I want four females and one male. But it uh, turned out pretty nice. Let's go dump this. All right, guys. Well, I'm not going to bore you with dragging all this stuff out of here. I got this chained up, the biggest one I got chained up. You can see I got it chained up pretty good where it don't drag. Uh, <laughs> I got this one, a couple of small ones and the big one over there. Won't take but a few minutes, but it's getting cold. I'm gonna let you guys go. Uh, I think this is gonna work out pretty good. The pear trees look, it's just what I've been wanting to do for the last couple of years. Hadn't got around to it. Uh, Finally got around to it. That one was so tall, it was just crazy, and it's all getting bundled up at the top. It just looked really, really rough. So cutting that top out, hopefully this thing will grow out, and those pears will drop, and we can get a lot of pears off that one. This one, it was just a jumbled mess, and after looking at it, I think I'm gonna end up taking this one out, just because, or just because it's growing all up into the rest of the tree i topped it so i'm just gonna take this this one out and i think that'll make that that'll keep that crowdedness down it'll knock some of that crowded uh limbs it'll take some of that junk out and just make it where it can breathe get some air flow get some sunlight in there hopefully we'll get a lot of pears i will definitely keep you guys posted uh as the season gets going when these blooms come on i'll definitely keep you guys posted but thank you guys so much for checking out my video. My mouth is so numb <laughs> that I can barely talk. It's been a super cold day. It's going to be even colder tomorrow, but I got things I got to do tomorrow too. 
Uh, but I just want to say thank you guys so much for, for checking out my video. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. We've got a lot of stuff coming. Uh, spring is right around the corner. It's about to, about, about to be muscadine season. <laughs> I can't move my face. It's about to be muscadine season where we're going to be pruning, fertilizing. It's just all about the muscadines coming up really, really soon. So if you guys haven't got your muscadines in the ground, I would highly recommend you guys hurry and get these fruit plants in the ground. Get your muscadines, your pear trees, your plum trees, apple trees, all that stuff planted right now while they're dormant. Love you guys to death. I will see y'all on the next video.